All right, guys, my name's Kermit. Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. Behind me is a very tastefully done, very badass 1973 Plymouth. This thing is awesome. As you can see, we got a big Hank and blower sticking out of the hood, twin four barrels on it. We're going to go ahead, we're going to get this thing, uh, do like our in showroom video. We're going to show you the interior, very tastefully done. We're going to go and start it up outside, try not to scare people. And of course, we're going to throw it up on the hoist. We're going to show you the beautiful undercarriage. We're going to pop the hood and give you the ins and outs of that right there under the hood. Um, so let's fire it up. All right, guys, on the front of this thing, I mean, I love the body mods, very tastefully done. They, they filled a lot of things to kind of smooth it out, but they didn't ruin the car in doing it. You see a lot of these people where they start playing with stuff and they ruin them. This, I actually like the tastefully done work. There's no cracking or anything like this where they filled all this in. Uh, of course, this right here, that's pretty apparently a body mod here. And they've done it once again very, very well. Of course, you know, it looks like it's all factory type stuff. All this is rolled like, you know, right around this edge here. Um, I'm very impressed with it to be perfectly frank and of course you can't you can't miss this the blower that's coming through the hood here I mean it's all hanging out this thing I heard it start up uh, not too long ago with it with the dumps open yes it does have dumps and it honestly scared me a little bit it's and it runs amazing it's a beautiful car I mean I absolutely love this thing and you can see I mean all the door gaps are actually in the thing really nice you can see there's shaved door handles on the thing we got uh, disc brakes front and rear on the thing void wheels on it we got Mickey Thompson tires um, when you look over here, you got the big Hank and studs here for uh, for launching and stuff like that. And you can see they've even got twin uh, calipers on the rear end there. But we'll get all that to the undercarriage stuff. I'm just a, I'm a mechanical nerd. This, that stuff really excites me. Um, you can see here all the paint on the top of it's in really good shape. You can see it across our soft lighting here. And you gotta love the Roadrunner stripe here. Absolutely beautiful. Um, moving around the side here once again with the body modifications, very tastefully done, very well done. Of course, this is all just Frenched in. You can't see any of the, of the fill with this, any of the blend. Absolutely beautiful. You can see fully custom made rear bumper on this thing. Um, I love the exhaust tips coming out there. It doesn't really, really broadcast that, that you, what you've got underneath the hood. I mean, we're talking Indy heads, MSD ignition, the whole nine yards with this thing. Um, of course, it does have a kill switch underneath the car, as you can see there on the note with a license plate. Once again, this side, same thing here. You can't see that this body is highly modified. It really almost looks like this thing came out of the factory like this. Very impressive. And also something else I'd like to point out just over here. I mean, you can see, look at the fitment of that bumper. Where they, where they French that in there like that. I can't imagine the amount of work that that took to get that that close like this. I mean, absolutely amazing. I really, uh, I tip my hat to the guy that did this car because uh, he, I, I know that he put the hours in on this one. Um, once again, even low on the body, you can see the paintwork is in excellent shape. A lot of the time, the body guys will get lazy down here. And I mean, it's absolutely, it's like glass even down here as opposed to, you know, um, the top people just kind of wet sand the top and then they just start to lose uh, enthusiasm as they get lower. But no, nah, not this one. This was nice. Even the front bumper's got the same sort of thing going on. Absolutely awesome. The stripes, very tastefully done. Hood pins, the whole nine yards. It's pretty awesome. Let's check out the interior. All right, guys, here you go, hands free. Look at that right there. And they even made the dome light work with it. I absolutely love it. You can see this thing is, does have a roll cage in it. I mean, it is a performance car, and the roll cage is very, very well done. All the welds, we've looked at them all, and it's actually surprisingly well done, and they've actually done some fill work on them, so you really can't even see most of them. Um, I, once again, I tip the hat to this guy. The only reason there's a little bit of scratches here is, of course, just getting in and out of the car. Your pants will rub it. It happens. You can always put something over that if you don't want it to get any worse. Um, looking at the door panel here, I mean, this thing is in excellent shape. Um, you can see here, it's a little bit of custom work here done as well. And you, you can see we've got electric windows on the thing. Um, 
You can see, you know, door handle, all of it's in good shape. Armrest is in all right shape here. A little bit of a, a nerf right here, but, no, you know, nothing too bad on it. I think this lower piece here is a modified original piece. This upper piece here is, of course, custom made. And, uh, I mean, you got the suede seats in the thing. Very, very tasteful. Looks like a, a stock of steering wheel in the thing, but you do have the uh, uh, upgraded uh, autometer gauges in the thing, and I'm a big fan of autometer gauges. Um, you can see it's got the B&M shifter in the thing. And uh, that is a, if I'm not mistaken, it's a reverse manual valve body 727 transmission in the thing. And uh, we've got it, of course, labeled as manual shift, which means you actually have to bump this sucker through the gears, and you're going to have a lot of fun while doing it. Um, toward the back of the car, when the roll cage actually comes down there, you can see that it is a rear seat delete car. They've actually taken the rear seat out of the car, and you, they've even embroidered the, uh, the Chrysler uh, star on, on, in the, uh, the closeout panel back there. I mean, I, it's... The, the guy's attention to detail, I'm really, really impressed with it. Uh, the mechanics are very impressed with this car. We all have kind of known to love it. And it actually, for as much performance as this thing have, has, it runs excellent. And you're going to see that in the running video. Let's check out the passenger side. This side does the same thing the driver's side does. And you can see here, the carpet and everything on this side is in just as good a shape. We're not going to go over the back end again because we've already been there. But once again, we've got this uh, like the suede type seat in this thing. Absolutely beautiful. You can see that the dash pad's in excellent shape. You can get a good look, even, maybe even a better look at all of our gauges. And I'd like to point out that they have a fully functional dome light. All the courtesy and map lights work in this thing. I mean, the level of detail, it's like it's, you've even got your little car freshener. The SS does come with a car. <laughs> um, it, it's all there. The glove box liner's in there. This thing is not butchered. You know, a lot of the time race cars just get absolutely butchered. And you got a, uh, um, a fire suppression or a uh, fire extinguisher underneath the seat. God forbid you actually need to use it. Um, but once again, very impressed with the car. They've done an excellent job with this one. All of the door jam paint is actually fairly well done here. You can look all the way up in there. There's no like overspray and you know terrible paint work up in there. This thing was taken apart when they did this. I mean, you, you just you don't see that 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 often with performance automobiles because generally people just don't they stop caring. It's all about going fast, and this guy actually cared about going fast and looking good. Let's go check out the trunk. All right, guys, they didn't stop with just the doors. Look at that. That even does it too. Lifting up the trunk on this thing. The trunk light works for heaven's sakes. You can see that all of this stuff is all in great shape. Of course, they had this deck lit off to paint the car, obviously. Um, I would like to point out here that underneath this closeout panel here that is signed, <clears throat> underneath here you have your fuel cell. Um, this is a performance fuel cell. You do have a gas gauge, of course, because here's your sending unit for it right here. Um, this is like a drag race lightweight style fuel cell. If I'm not mistaken, it's probably a 10 gallon uh, cell. And you have twin batteries in this thing inside these uh, cases here. You lift up the latches and you can see your both batteries are in here. They're wired together, um, but it's not a 24 volt car. It is actually a, it's wired to be a 12 volt car. Um, very, very tastefully done. You got big old Hankin fuel pump right here. Um, let's see here who makes that one. Oh, it's a Barry Grant uh, fuel pump, too, on this thing, so very impressive there. They've always made good stuff. Beautiful AN lines. This isn't the cheap sleeved over junk. This is like real, actual nice uh, braided lines on these. Those aren't cheap at all. You can kind of get an idea of the worksmanship, too, is where, you know, all the tub working back here. They actually cared enough to kind of put some undercoat on it or some kind of like a sealer on it. This might even be something that uh, even sound deadens the car a little bit, too. Very impressive. I'm very happy with what I'm seeing here. Um, uh, like I said, I, uh, I tip my hat to this guy, and as an added bonus, you even have, you know, it's a fully weather stripped car too, so I mean, you've got all of your uh, weather strips are all in place properly. I mean, I really give this guy credit, and once again, you got your third brake light here, French in, and oh, front close is excellent too. And uh, while we're here, something else I'd like to point out is you can see in the back of this closeout panel here, they even have a little uh, road runner back there as well, um, and I'm sure that... Uh, that they had to have that custom made too. Very, very tastefully done. I like it a lot. All right, let's take a 73 Roadrunner for a ride. I think I found my new favorite car. <laughs> This thing drives great, shifts great, and it's got more power than you know what to do with. You want to do a burnout in any gear? No problem. She will do it. This is one amazing car. She runs great. She looks great. Everything's working. It's nice and comfortable to drive. Now, she is a manual shift, 
That guy in the show thinks he's got something. <laughs> Come on over here, buddy. You want to run? Listen to that. Listen to that blower whine. Man, what a sweetie. Just go through the gears so nice and easy. Drive with one hand. Look at that. She's going straight down the road. No touching the wheel whatsoever. Look at this. Just as comfortable as can be. She's stopping nice and straight with no hands on the wheel. Just an amazing car here. Now, Tom answers his phone seven days a week and practically 24 hours a day. So call him anytime. He will let you know everything you need to do to park this dream in your drive. Now look down here on the dash. All the gauges are working. They look like they're stock gauges in this stock dash. I mean, what a beautiful job. The dash pad's beautiful. It's just an amazing car, guys. What a sweetheart here. I tell you what, I'm gonna put a blower on my car. <laughs> this thing is sweet. Like I said, my new favorite car right here, 73 Roadrunner. It's got that Hemi bottom end, Max Wedge Indy top end. What an amazing car. Here we go, a little bit of throttle. That was a half an inch on the throttle, guys. I don't know, man. I don't know if you ever need to put this one down to the floor. <laughs> What an amazing ride. Now our shop's right outside the Motor City and we would love to show you this beautiful car. So come on down, fly right into the Metro Airport. We're only 20 minutes from the airport. We'll come down and pick you up. Just give Tom a call. We gotta hit that throttle one more time. Man, what an amazing ride. That was just touching the throttle. Here we are at our shop, 15100 Keel Street. Now you gotta stick around. Hey, look at those black marks. I wonder where they came from. <laughs> you gotta stick around because we're gonna put it on the lift so you can check out the bottom side. Then we'll pop the hood and take a look at that horse up front. So we're underneath this amazing car now. And I wanna point out, look at these bumpers, the way they're all shaved in. I tell you, it's got a real modern car look. That uh, spoiler on the back, all integrated into the deck lid. Beautiful work, and you're gonna see the lion's share of the beautiful work underneath, man. She is beautiful. Look at this. Right here, we've got the battery shut off, and look at this exhaust. Look at the way that balance was cut out for the exhaust. Even the uh, rear cross member here, and look at that trunk floor. Beautiful paintwork under here. Everything about this car is just amazing. Okay, there's a 393 gear in here and it does have a spool. That's what makes them babies go around. And take a look at those brakes. They got dual calipers on those rear brakes. That's to hold that horsepower back. I tell you what, I think I'm gonna do that to my car so we can launch it off the line. Gotta hold that horsepower back. Uh, three inch exhaust, um, real nice setup here where they uh, did the back half job. Just a gorgeous setup on the springs. The um, rockers look beautiful. The floorboards are beautiful. Uh, we've got a brand new drive shaft in here, a nice drive shaft loop here. Got another drive shaft loop up here. And look at these cutouts. They took the time to dive those up and over. You see how the frame ties here? We've got tubular uh, members here going in and tying into the floorboards. Great looking trans here. Everything's nice and neat and clean. They just went through that baby also. Now we've got uh, disc brakes up front also. Then we went with one caliper up front, so I guess all the horsepower's in the back. Look at that beautiful uh, paintwork in there. Then we got an emergency pull cord here. See if there's one on this side. Yep, there's one on this side too. So if those door latches don't work, you can pull that rip cord and you can still get in the car. K members, beautiful. Great looking setup here. And look up in these wheelhouses here. You see how there's all that tubing coming down, tying into the frame, going back there to the firewall. Just a beautiful setup on this car. I tell you, she is a work of art underneath here. And look at that front bumper. Take a look at the way it's integrated and shaved in there. Just a beautiful setup here, guys. It is an amazing build. Let's look at those wheels and tires.
All right, up front, we got sticky Mickeys up front, too. We got 28 10 by 18s on some beautiful Boyd Connington rims. Man, these things are sharp. Now, we've actually got a special socket here to get those lug nuts off. It's so skinny down in there, you need a special socket. So that'll be with the car when we park this dream in your drive. Look at the bottom side of those rockers. Just look at those wheel wells. There's all that extra tubing up in there where it's tying into the firewall and coming down and supporting down to the frame. Just beautiful workmanship. This car is amazing, guys. Let's check them fatties in the rear. All right. Here's where the work gets done right here. We got some monster sticky Mickeys back here. These are uh, Sportsman's. Here's the size right here. 31 18s by 20s. Same good looking Boyd's and take a look at those dual discs back there or dual calipers on that disc brake, man. And look up in those wheel wells. The finish work even in the wheel wells is amazing. Like I said, the guys who must have been a team of guys built this beautiful car. And look at that rocker. Beautiful work. The paintwork. Look at all that. Isn't that amazing? Just a work of art here. And of course, it, you see the Caltrax hanging out there. Okay, let's get under the hood and see what's making these brothers go up and smoke. All right. Here's where the work's getting done right here. 446 Stroker. Now that's a Hemi block with 426 Max Wedge uh, ND heads on her. She's got TTI headers, uh, the blower shop blower, the dual four setting up top. I mean, this thing is making some amazing horsepower. She's got a uh, electric water pump, MSD is what's making the spark. Great big old aluminum radiator with some great looking uh, electric fan set up on her here. It's just an amazing build here. We've got some uh, aluminum valve covers there. Uh, the intake is an Indy intake also. Uh, this is a fuel pressure regulator going to those dual fours up there. Uh, just everything about the car, just engineered to be just a marvel. Look at that firewall, <laughs> all shaved down. Those inner fenders are all chromed up, or you know, they got some chrome in here. This is all polished up uh, stainless here. It uh, looks like uh, we've got an MSD coil mounted up here. It's just an amazing car, guys. She's making a ton of horsepower. The engineering's here. She's a cool-ass car. Give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this dream in your drive.